we were happy with the concept of uh, my procurement portal where every all information will actually be available and become transparent to all parties okay even macc was very quick to come up with a statement that this is one of the things that macc has sanctioned and i believe it is a step towards increasing transparency in government uh, acquisitions but i'm not sure if dr abu kasim the, ch the chief commissioner of macc did his homework uh, we were very happy to hear about my procurement but we went in to have a check on the my procurement portal to see what information is in there what we can extract okay and once you go in there and see the information that's available you certainly leave one with plenty to be desired for based on the information available it often leads to more questions than answers three points i want to raise today there are actually more i will raise another day but first there's a question of data integrity okay within the my procurement portal and what steps are being taken to verify the information posted on the site if the information on the portal is to be taken seriously then surely the information posted must be accurate to ensure a high degree of integrity very simple i just look for the highest contract awarded over the past six months highest contract awarded i found this contract to be amount of 6.47 billion 6.47 billion awarded to Sharikat era frozen syndrome brahat by ministry of defense the contract was to supply rangum sega is a type of army food okay which could have bought the ministry four more submarines okay it is a lot of money for food items alone okay the supplies is meant to last for three years while the value of contract food items will certainly raise eyebrows okay i'm quite sure i would like to believe that there's some decimal points error in this particular contract so i don't want to go into criticizing how come they bought it for so much i would rather believe that there's actually an error in typo that means it actually is not 6.47 billion it is more likely to be two decimal points so it's probably likely to be 67 million or something like that okay so there's issue of error even the number one item on the list already you can identify possible error okay if it is really 6.47 billion then i would like mecc to investigate this particular contract okay furthermore if you do a further check there are 38 awards amounting to 182 million where there was no company name or company number provided both also not provided Okay, the question is how many other errors are there in this data this is just cursory check you know we don't even go through in detail okay how many other errors are uh, in this data without ac accurate and credible information the my procurement portal will be of little use to the public okay number two there's a clear lack of data available to make informed judgments with regards to a particular contract award okay they provide very little information even on 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 information that are accurate for example, a tender to supply and deliver vest body production level 3 to the armed forces was awarded for 82.8 million ringgit. Sounds like a lot, okay? The most basic question to ask then, before any judgment can be made whether this is too expensive or very good deal, is the quantity. How many body vests was sold, okay? Without the quantity, one would not be able to know the per unit price. There was no information on quantity. In fact, the My Procurement Portal do not even provide basic useful information such as date of tender, date of award, number of participants, etc. Now, I would like to cite the example of Singapore. The Government E-Procurement Portal, the URL is provided, publishes not only all the above information, it provides even detailed information on tender requests with relevant attachments, a schedule of competitive bids, and all the details of the successful bid. We hope that the government will keep its promise of greater transparency and use Singapore GB's portal as a yardstick to measure our own achievements. Okay? Now, this portal is also cited, this Singapore's portal is also cited in the government transformation plan. So I'm not the only one quoting the Singapore portal. Najib's government transformation plan specifically did a case study of Singapore procurement. So they have done the case study, they know what's in there and they can follow. I'll just quickly cite an example of a typical tender in Singapore okay where they, they they did a tender supply integration or integrated security scheme okay so they have a notice notice they have three whole pages of it with an attachment okay you can click download the full 
RFP, details of the RFP. So you have you know exactly what the tender is about. So you can download attachments and more. And after that, what they do, they publish a complete list of all the bidders. So this project has got seven bidders. Okay, uh, this is seven or four, four bidders. Okay, all their prices, the quantity, the currency, the unit price, total price, other uh, maintenance and references, alternative proposals. So sometimes I put in proposal A, but I have an alternative B are also put inside. So everyone's information, you can compare. Did they give it to the highest price contract or did they give it to the lowest price contract? And then only they publish the detailed information on the contract that was awarded. Now we want to see all this information in our local procurement exercises. There's no point um, putting up information. Company A has been awarded for project B without providing details because it's meaningless to the public. So finally and most disappointingly, Datuk Sri Najib Abdul Razak disclosed that contracts which have been awarded via direct negotiations, direct negotiations will not be published in the My Procurement Portal. Okay, when queried by a reporter, he had sheepishly responded that it will not because uh, very limited because it's a security related exercise. Now we all know that the biggest problems in the government's procurement system is the award of directly negotiated contracts. Okay? For these contracts I have uh, often been awarded via patronage to rent seekers resulting not only in wastage and corruption but also substandard and even failed projects. The most recent example, I think carried in uh, Malaysia Kini yesterday, is the Shah Alam Hospital project which is now in deep trouble. I left out the trouble. After the project was awarded to Sunshine Fleet, Sanjian Brahat. An example of an Alibaba contractor who subsequently subcontract the en subcontracted the entire project to subcontractors. The project which is already delayed will face further setbacks as the current contractor GMH Healthcare is now sub current subcontractor GMH Healthcare is now in a serious legal dispute with the main contractor, Sunshine Fleet. This project was originally budgeted for 300 million to be awarded via open tender, but was in the end awarded via direct negotiations for a much higher price of 482 million. So the question is very simple. You know, the problem area is directly negotiated contracts. And if these contract details are not published in the My Procurement Pro Portal, then no one will know about it. Our problem of rent seeking and patronage will not be solved. The Prime Minister has promised in his speech on new economic model that we can no longer tolerate practices that support the behaviour of rent seeking and patronage, which have long tarnished the altruistic aims of the new economic policy. Okay? His government transformation roadmap, as I mentioned earlier, has also stated people in both public and private sectors are particularly sceptical of unnecessary projects, award decisions that are not made public or sufficiently justified. Project delays, contract variations, concealment of substandard work. The roadmap has called for all procurement contracts to be disclosed publicly without making an exception for directly negotiated contracts, quoting case studies from Singapore and South Korea. Therefore, Datuk Sri Najib's response towards publishing information of contracts which have been awarded without any tenders that they will not be make, made publicly available is most disappointing and raises strong doubts as to whether he has the political will to carry out the necessary reforms to wipe out rent seeking and patronage which is so entrenched in our government procurement system. I, 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 like I said, I think it's wrong. I think it's wrong. But what I'm questioning is the accuracy of data inside. So if the data inside is not accurate and they don't check it properly, then whatever we see is used, not, not relevant and not useful. I, I, I don't believe that a food contract can be awarded at 6.4 billion. Uh. I, even I don't believe it. Uh. So I'm not working on that. I'm working on the fact that they don't do their, their, their data checking properly. And I did a simple check only. I didn't do through. There are two, three, almost 3,000 contracts, 2,000 over contracts in there. I didn't go through one by one, no. I just picked one and already there's a very blatant error. So I don't know how much of the rest got errors.